Hello everybody, it is 5 a.m. and I am up nice and early because we got some new news. I was laying down on my phone like a faux degenerate staring at the stock markets that had just opened and watching me lose my money by the second. And then I realized, hey, there was a new ping and there's some new news. So what we have here today is we got some new new when it comes to the news. And ching by the being, here we go. There was an announcement in the Discord uh, asking if we had seen this update yet, which just came out here, 2.15 p.m. UTC, so about 11 minutes ago. And I figured, hey, I'm awake. Let's break it down and take a look. So here we go. This was by Marius, the community manager, or one of them anyway. He says, we have some exciting new news for you and an opportunity to provide the dev team with early feedback. But first things first, given the recent delay with the release of patch 113, we have decided to adjust our development cycle in order to ensure you guys have a steady stream of new features. Yes, this is mandatory if they want this game to continue. And there is going to be one more innovation. Namely, we will publish small press release articles like the one you are reading right now with information regarding upcoming features and changes. More or less, they're going to try to do more communication, um, more in the vein of... Uh, other companies. Uh, I do believe the smaller press releases like they're talking about are fairly standard in other games. Please keep in mind that changing circumstances may affect the upcoming update. So not everything you read below is set in stone, but it is the current game plan. Check it out and leave your feedback in the comments below. So first thoughts is it's encouraging that they're doing more communication, obviously. So we have some new features here, which is the daily login rewards update. Uh, so 120 days, there's a new epic hero and they're kind of showing, I guess this is going to get some new things here. We get a legendary character at 180 days. So that's kind of nice, man. We get two new epics here and everyone is guaranteed a legendary character. That's kind of nice. With the constant influx of new players and growing ranks of veterans, we found it's time to further enhance the daily login reward. Yep. This will not be a replacement of the old one. Instead, this is an addition that will boost the entire program to 180 days in total. This is good. This is a good change. New daily login rewards will be available to all players and will compromise a variety of valuable rewards, including gems, skill tombs, and shards. On top of that, there will be two new epic champions and one legendary available on day 120, 150, and 180, respectively. Okay, some, some more freebies. Uh, you can find detailed descriptions of these champions and their skills below. As always, your feedback and comments are welcome. Okay. So since this is a non-paywall, this is just you play the game for long enough. Let's see exactly how good these characters are. So we have Sile of the Drakes. Uh, he's a legendary magic barbarian, and he attacks an enemy. 20% chance of placing decreased speed. 30% chance of decreasing the target's term meter by 15%. Um, okay, that's all right because of the decreased term meter, but it's only a single hit. So well, it depends on, I guess, the ratio. And his second move is attacks all enemies each hit has a, oh, excuse me, attacks them all twice, and each hit has a 20% chance of placing a stun, uh, and it's a four-turn cooldown. I'm not sure if that chance can go up with books. It doesn't show. And then the third move is revives an ally with 50% HP and places a prote protection buff on him. That's kind of an interesting move. So he's kind of a CC plus revive guy. And then the final move is a passive, which heals all allies 10% of their max HP at the start of each turn and places 30% increased speed buff on random ally for two turns. That's kind of interesting. So he's kind of a, uh, like a mild support. I'm not really sure um, if he's fantastic. I do think that having some stun on an AOE is nice for players that may not have access to many characters and having a revive is good too. So this is, this is definitely a good character for free to play. Uh, and let's look at the other epic Lordly Legend. <laughs> Legionnaire. What? I love this name. Okay. Another magic guy. Attacks an enemy two times. Extra hit if the target is under uh, healing reduction. Places two extra hit if the target... Okay, so he hits four times if they're under 100% healing reduction. That's pretty good. Attacks enemy. Chance of placing decreased speed. Decreases the target's term here again if the decreased speed is placed. I don't like these decreased speed debuffs. I don't really find them too useful. Places 30% reflect damage buff and 15% continuous heal buff on all allies. Okay, that is actually really good. So having a character built into the login rewards um, that is going to give you the ability to have a reflect damage on all allies is actually surprisingly good because reflect damage, uh, while it is obviously not as good um, as counterattack, for instance, it is another way uh, to get some damage back 
when someone else goes on AOE. So for that reason, it can be useful in things like Fire Knight because it can trigger Fire Knight shield passive. So he he might be all right for Noom as well. And then we move on the Dark Elaine here, decreases an enemy's max HP by 30% of the damage inflicted. That's all the basic does, not a fan of that. Uh, it places increased attack buff on the champion for two turns, then attacks all enemies, 50% chance of placing decreased speed. Again, with the decreased speed, don't like that. Uh, instantly removes any freeze, this is a passive, any freeze debuffs on the champion, replaces them with a 30% increased crit, 30% increased damage, and 15% strength and buff whenever an enemy places freeze debuff on this champion. So basically, it's kind of a counter um, to Tormund. Uh, I don't know if I quite like that personally, just because it seems like it's a targeted counter. I don't like characters that are targeted counters. And then Letho passive fills this champion's turn up with 25%, instantly activates the Death Majesty skill whenever or this champion or an ally receives a free, which is the, the AoE. Um, again, this is a counter that Torment. So I really uh, personally don't like Dark Elaine, because I don't really understand the idea behind having an expensive fusion and then releasing a free-to-play character that counters that character. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but interesting character nonetheless. And then here we have the Platinum Tier uh, Balance Rewards. So they've already announced this before. Uh, there's worth noting that there will be some major ch major changes to the Platinum Tier Chest. To recap, there's going to be three types of them, Ultimate for first, second, and third, uh, basically for Cartman, RTZ, and Farthing Cows, we'll be getting one. And then Super Platinum Chest for four of the 20, for the rest of like the only $100,000 spenders, Kappa. And then the Platinum Tier Chest for the rest of us plebs that have spent $50,000 or less, Kappa. No, nah, it's, it's basically for the, uh, you know, first through the third, four through 20, and the rest of the Platinum Ring each get a different tier. And they'll get their own unique avatars depending on, on that, and each set will, each chest will be able to drop these sets, and the sets basically, this one is nuts. It gives you 18% speed, 30% critical damage, 50% chance for unkillable when you take a fatal hit that's nuts. And then this one here uh, deflects your debuffs and actually places them upon the person who's trying to <laughs> debuff you, which is nuts here. And it gives you 20% HP and defense. So there, there is some... Oh man, the 5 a.m.'s kicking in. There is some definitely not okay gear sets coming to the game here. I'm not gonna, I've already talked about this recently. I'm not gonna reiterate my rage on this. I don't think this is healthy for the game. Moving on to Affinity Dungeons and Potions here. Uh, there's a longstanding request that we've monitored the situation with potions for a while and took several steps to help players. Potion mixing additional sources such as clan boss chest. Uh, when there's a multitude of new champions being added to the game. Uh, so let's see, what are they talking about here? Let's see, what, are there anything they're changing? No, they're just, okay, so this is just, they're saying they're doing the seven potion thing. So this is where minimum potions you're gonna get from stage 15 is now a seven lesser potions. This was already mentioned in the previous thing, they're just reiterating it. Then the miscellaneous here, they, they fixed the speed hack, which if you hadn't seen this, this is actually like a third party cheat engine. This isn't the one that I showed you guys with the clan boss index, that's the index glitch. This is the actual hack. AI fix for Septimus is coming, I've mentioned this before, and Yannicka, Angar, Sithali, and Shabrock will have their ratings reset. That way people in game can re-rate them. Uh, that I don't really care about that. So the AI for Septimus speed hack fix, sure, that's good. The affinity dungeon change is good. The gear change is really bad and really unhealthy and it's gonna be pay to win stuff. Dark Allying is basically a counter to Tormund. Lordly Legionnaire is a very nice free to play Fire Knight buff. This character is gonna be an okay support for free to play as well. None of them look too busted, except Dark LA maybe for the counter for Tormund. The characters look, uh, not too bad, actually. I like the look of the characters. I like all of that. So that's kind of an interesting breakdown. Um, I think it kind of depends on these daily rewards. I, I think the daily login rewards were a great change. Personally, I, I think they have to they have to add something like daily login rewards to even keep players that are hemorrhaging, or I'm not gonna be able to land that word in this morning. They are bleeding uh, out of the game right now. I, I'm seeing every day depressingly Every single day I'm seeing more and more people leave the game and more and more of my content creator friends playing other games themselves and uh, making videos on other games and everyone's kind of slowly moving out. So. 
for that reason, I do hope that they try to at least salvage uh, this bad situation. And I think that the daily login rewards might be a good addition to that, as that is something that that should have been done a while ago, in my personal opinion. We can't have uh, reactive changes at this point in the game. We need proactive changes. We need them to be proactively making the game better, not reactively as the community outrages, uh, you know, a month or two later, pumping out something that they're asking for. I think we really need uh, to get on top of this one here, but this is a good change in the right direction. So if you enjoyed this video today and you enjoyed this breakdown, uh, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more of these and, you know, hit the bell, all that jazz if, if you want to see this Red Hedge talk about more video games. Okay, guys, love you. And uh, I'm going to go see if these daily login rewards are coming soon. They haven't given us any ETA on patch 1.13.5. Uh, but I'll do a willow weaseling in here and see if I can get a little tidbits from him. Okay, guys, love you. See you on the next video or in the live stream tonight. Bye-bye now.